if we are able to reduce the energy consumption of these industries by 20%, then that is a huge number and will benefit everyone all across the world. Traditionally, the industries have been blamed for climate disturbances, but there is no iPhone without the heavy industry. The weather patterns are changing. We need to be even more efficient and we need to address that with this generation. We live in a world powered by industry. It's revolutionized our way of life. But industry is responsible for 45% of all global carbon emissions. Digitization, automation, and electrification already offer incredible opportunities for improvement. Yet only 26% of the world's industrial companies are reaping the benefits. This means that the majority of industry can improve productivity, resilience, profitability, and sustainability through the adoption of software-defined solutions available today. Rotlas Vatten is a public utility based in Stockholm. We have 250 pump stations. It's a pretty energy intense business. The urgency right now is that the cost levels due to inflation, energy prices and interest rates uh, have been booming the last years. The last two years was a tipping point because for the first time in the history of energy, Two things came together on one hand, the energy crisis, which really was driving the need to reduce energy consumption, and on the other side, the midterm objective to meet our climate goals. If you look at energy intensive industries, digital transformation, digital technology can take out 20% of the energy costs. Digitalization is a key means to get there, because digitalization gives you the transparency. And when we look how many companies really have embarked on the digital journey, it's less than 30%. How can these companies use new digital technology to reduce energy consumption and costs? The solution starts with data. Data will be as important as the asset itself. So maintaining the data, making sure you have the right data, is, will be as important as having the right pump or the right equipment in the treatment plant. Cloud-based software platforms allow you to aggregate information from data sources that previously you were never able to compare, to contrast, to analyze in the same place. We're able to do that now, and this is the power that we need to reach our sustainability goals. You first need to understand your process and what you use where. How much CO2 do I use per unit that I'm producing? What we're able to do now is to take industrial information, aggregate this information in the cloud for many, many assets, many, many factories at the same time. And that allows you to compare, contrast and visualize. If you get the right data that is condensed in the most efficient way, you will make better decisions. You can make the decisions faster and more often. Combining digitization with AI can solve problems before they even occur. If our treatment plants and pump stations are not working, it will mean that we can discharge untreated sewage water into lakes, rivers, or into the ocean. And of course, we have drinking water pipes in our systems from the 50s. And if all of them are cracking at the same time of some reason, then we are into a catastrophe. But instead of fixing a leaking water pipe, we can make sure it doesn't leak. And for this, you, you really get the digital means. You have sensors, you have automation system, which allows you to record the points. And together with the experts that you have in the company, you can then make business decision for the future. Preventive maintenance is one area where today artificial intelligence is used. You take information from your asset and you try to predict when this is going to break down. Then you schedule maintenance in advance to avoid the breakdown. With all this advancement in artificial intelligence and automation, the true driving force of sustainable change still comes from humans. It's really about teaching the people what we are going to do, the reason why we are doing this, and what is their accountability in the whole process. The key to making AI successful in industry is to clearly direct it at what data it can access and what data it cannot access. The job of the human is to decide what data AI can look at. 
going to a more sustainable way how we produce is ultimately quite rewarding for the employees because they are part of the story here. Sustainability is the balance between economic, social and environmental factors. And if we just talk about environmental and economic factors, there is a very strong linkage between those. By using digital transformation, you are able to take out 20% of the operating costs of an asset. This is the same as saving 20% in energy. So it hits your sustainability targets and it positively affects your bottom line. Sustainability is good for business. I'm really convinced that by applying digital tools or digital approaches in how you produce, that's the way to go for a sustainable future.